Hi. I'd like to encourage you in God's Word. Here's a copy of God's Word right here. The new Christian Standard Bible published by Holman, a division of the Southern Baptist Convention. A wonderful Bible translation. Let me share with you some of its features. This is the, the study Bible, the full-blown, full-size, indexed. Uh, you'll notice the New Testament books of the Bible are all tabbed, easy to open to, and they're in red. <clears throat> Old Testament tabs are in black for easy identification. As we open up this book, I just want to share some of the features. I'll start with I'll start with the cross references. I'm going to open up to Psalm 46 because I'm in a few minutes I want to share with you. I want to encourage your heart with Psalm 46. Cross references are a handy tool. They're usually found in the margin. What it is is a way of um, well, for instance, Psalm 46, there's a, uh, in the first verse, it says, God is our refuge and strength, a helper who's always found in times of trouble. Now, next to the word trouble, there's a little P, the letter P. And so I go to the, I go to that, that cross-referencing area in the, in the center margin. I look at Psalm 46 and verse 1. And there is that little letter P, and it takes me to two other places in the Psalms where that word trouble is, is also used. So it, 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 it gives some breadth, some, some perspective on the usage of that word. And, um, and that all by itself is a very handy study tool. Cross-referencing study notes. In the CSB Bible, they placed all the study notes in a pastel block at the lower portion of the page. And it distinguishes it from the biblical text and it is, is a, a, a easily identifiable um, uh, distinction. The study note, well, let's take a look at one. In Psalm 46, in verse... Um, well, I'm going, to, I'm going to go on and read verse 2. Therefore, we will not be afraid, although the earth trembles and the mountains topple into the depths of the sea, although its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with its turmoil. So I look down here at this, this cross-reference, and there... And it gives me some help. It says, Trembling earth and quaking mountains represent unsettling motion in parts of nature that are supposed to be stable. The water which God restrained at creation here threatens to become chaotic again. Interesting. In... The New Testament, when Old Testament is referred to, I should say, when it's quoted, the CSB puts it in bold text. See it right there? It's put in bold. And it helps us to understand, oh, the author's quoting from the Old Testament right there. The CSB has is replete with with maps, for instance. And I'm not just talking about the maps that many Bibles have in the back of their Bible. I'm, so, I'm talking about throughout the Scriptures. For instance, here in the middle of 1 Samuel is a map of David's, um, David's flight from Saul. You remember that? Well, we went through that not long ago. And there's uh, some, you know, idea of where they went throughout the region of Philistia, Edom, Moab, um, and 
and of course uh, Israel. The CSB Bible has charts. What do I mean by charts? Well, here's a nice one. In the book of Ruth, it's actually a family tree. David's family tree in chart form. Very handy. Nice visual. Look at that thing and be able to say, oh, I see how the lineage of Christ took place from Boaz and Ruth down to Jesus Christ. There it is. Beautiful. Word studies. Word studies. What do we mean by that? I'm going to flip back to Psalm 46. Psalm 46. Here in the center of the note block, we have a word study. Here, it's the particular word is selah. Selah. It's so oftentimes found in the Psalms. Um, and and here, it's, it, it tells you where it's found. And it tells you how many times it's found. And then it gives an, you know, a definition of the word, even, even how to pronounce the word. Um, but what, what that word is, is there for, what it means to you and what it means to me. Very, very nice, very handy. Uh, what else does this uh, Bible have? Illustrations. Let me share with you an illustration of the portable worship system. The Old Testament tabernacle established well, by God, through Moses, that they would take down and put up. And um, it was there they, they worshipped Yahweh. And, um, and there it is, a nice picture of it. So you get a feel for, oh, okay, um, that's the difference between the, the holy place and the, the, the altar and, and the basin where they, the priests would cleanse themselves and, and so forth. Photos. My goodness, I've never seen a study Bible, any Bible, that had as much use of photos, that made as much use of photos as this one. Here in 1 Corinthians is a photograph of a very early Olympic stadium. Um, the entrance to the stadium at Olympia, Greece. Because Paul, why? Because Paul uses the imagery in his writings about the games, about competing for the prize. Um, let's see, introductions to the book are very beautifully done, for instance. Song of Solomon, uh, pomegranates, why? Because it's, they're spoken of in there. But the introduction to each book um, provides the circumstances of writing, the message, the purpose of, of it, its contribution to the Bible, the structure of the writing. And then down the bottom is this timeline, a timeline. Which includes other important events in history at that time. For instance, um, uh, the era of that this was, was written, other things in history took place like Egyptian love poetry, um, heavy import and export trade in Egypt, um, uh, there were more interesting ones somewhere else. But anyway, moving on. This Bible is, um, is a beauty. And I'm purposefully encouraging you to divert your attention away from the 24-7 news about the coronavirus and um, not to dumb us all down, but just to give us a welcome distraction and refreshment into God's Word. Now, now, Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, 
a helper who is always found in times of trouble. Therefore we will not be afraid. Although the earth trembles and the mountains topple into the depths of the seas, although its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with its turmoil, even though all earth goes topsy-turvy, goes ballistic, we will not fear because God is our refuge and our strength. I hope that's a blessing to you. Talk to you soon.